Gerald is now leaving for the church on time. <laughs> Give me to the church on time? Is that what it is? <laughs> Just a Bernie. Yeah. The yappy thing. Yeah, wait, what are we gonna do with the dogs? We're gonna, we're gonna put shoot them, put them in the carport and pull the whole road. stood in front of the mirror checking his tie and his zipper 25 times. <laughs> wait until no, really <laughs> wait until halfway through the ceremony it's oh I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm not nervous, I want Gerald to be nervous. <laughs> I'm on the news, Ed. Yeah, yeah. You want a mic? <laughs>
witnessing here in a matrimonial union, the sacrament of marriage as we believe in the Catholic Church. And in this spirit, I will say this opening prayer. Father, you have made the bond of marriage and holy mystery a symbol of Christ's love for his church. Hear our prayers for Gerald and Bella with faith in you and in each other they pledge their love today. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of that love. We ask it to Christ our Lord. Amen. And follow us in the readings. Lord God built a rib and had to eat it from the man into the wood and brought her to the man. The man exclaimed, This at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This is to be called woman, for this was taken from man. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and joins himself to his wife, and they become one body. The word of Lord. Thanks be to God.
this is the cook. He is setting up. Hey, uh, Johnny. Hey, John boy. Johnny, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm finished. You always use take the motor out and keep your dog in there. Everybody does that. It's already worn out a pair of shoes. I think that. Hey. Follow my sister's action. I heard about my sister's. Carolyn, you could all take your places. Uncle Henry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Uncle Henry. What happened? What happened? Yeah. About what? I don't know. Oh. Did you catch that carp? Yeah. What number is you? What number are you? Nine. Table. Nine. Uh, you're probably out of luck, eh? I know. They didn't even call it out. Yeah. <laughs> We're 23. Probably the bottom of the heap. Oh, well, that's no, my Auntie no. Mark. Over yes. here. Oh, the smile on her face. Auntie Mark. Got it. Uh, that's my wife, Ellen, there. Uh, there's Larry and Sue. That's your sister. Yes, that's my sister. Auntie Jean. You said your favorite No, no, I'm your favorite. Hold on now. Hi, you were not. No fighting here. No fighting. No fighting. Uh, and John. Oh, I got to swing around the table here. Yeah. We'll get, we'll get Walter and Andy Kay. Oh, look at that beautiful bride. No, behind you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Awesome, awesome. Gosh. We're at the next table. This is the good table. Yes. This is one of the better tables. The only one that counts. Okay, Ray. Excuse me. This will be the only this table is, after the night. This is the best too. table, not one of the better. According to? Yes. According? According to me. Okay. Everybody's favorite needs. Uh, okay. The, come back in four hours, this table will still be here. Really? Yeah, but how about you guys? <laughs> okay, this is uh, Sharon, right there. And uh, Eric. And this is my wife again! <laughs> uh, uh, Pat, and Jackie. Hey, hey, get it back to Pat. Get it back here. He did. Uh, and there's, there's Nathan. You talked through it. You forgot Pat, Ellen. Uh, you didn't. No, I got Pat. And there's Scott. And Rini. And there's Jennifer hiding down there. I got Jenny. And Ray. Got Ray. See? And most of these people, most of these people, except for these two people, oh, sorry, Ray. These two people here are from the Okanagan. Arts country. Yeah, see? I'm on the outskirts, but I still qualify. Dora's eating now. Yeah, look at the scoop on her plate. My God, could you think? Could you think a woman could eat so much? <laughs> uh, there's Dean, my brother. Yeah. Scooping up the salad here. Yeah. yeah. Scooping here. Look, look. Whoa. Uh, there's Dean and his Fu Manchu over there. Mike. Yes, Jerry. Let's see, uh, this is Mr. Bill Miller. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna zoom in on it. It keeps turning though. Yeah. Anyway, he's he's re he's related to Connie somehow. <laughs> now over here we have Andy Francis. And then uh, Elsa. Uh, oh, there's Dad. And Mom. And Mr. Eden, Mr. Pete Eden, and his wife Eileen, right there. Right. And there's yeah. Connie hey. Oh, here's Connie feeling my bum. <laughs> <laughs> there's pa Connie right there. Whoop. <laughs>
There she is. Somebody uh, bugging me in the back here. <laughs> oh, it's Denise. Uh, this is uh, Randy. And there's Carol. Oh. And uh, Martin. Don't mix. Uh, oh, there's my wife again. Yeah. There's Brad. Tyler. Wayne. And Denise, sister of the Flasher. <laughs> Hello. Make it long on them. <laughs> Denise is feeling okay. I'm happy. She's happy. She's going to get happier. Denise, he loves it when you pull a move. I'm sorry, but that won't happen. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm so happy. Set. Are you sure? Are you really sure? <laughs> I'd have to be totally prudent. Okay. okay. To your sister. Say hi to your sister. Everybody's impressed. Okay, my nieces. Oh, that's Kim and Chris and Kim with her new. Sorry. <laughs> Boy, he didn't like that. Turn the light on. He just went. Oh, close those eyes. This is Anthony, Kim's son. He's got to have something different. Yeah, Penguin you know, for sure. Yeah. Responsible. Bella has been very responsible all her life 
And uh, I can only ask Carla and Carlos how responsive she has been. Because she listens more. I think, you know, the, you know Carla and Carlos listen more to Bella, even to her parents. Bella, when, when she's upset, she means business. <laughs> she does mean it. And that, I can go back uh, when Bella was about to be eight. This is a few years ago. This is back in Edmonton, and probably some of you don't know that she went to the big city. And one day, you know, she was going to be eight, and she comes to my lovely wife, Sally, and uh, she wanted to skip, you know, she wanted to skip to be eight. She said, can I be nine? I said, sure. that's, that's a fact, you know, she wanted to be so responsible. <laughs> Another one is the, and, and actually I had to ask my sister, Maria, about this one, you know, like one day, she wanted so badly to go to school that uh, we were in Kelowna, and I, I believe she was four years old, and she and she was lonely in the house. My sister was in the you know working in the farm, and she wanted to go to school so bad that one day they both went to work in the farm, and she took off, you know, and she said that there's a school out there, and uh, and Mrs. Cross, you know, where my sister was working was driving by and she's, you know, she saw Bella going to school. She said, Bella, where are you going? I'm going to school. And, you know, she said, well, you owe me four. No, I want to go to school. And she said, come in the car. And she said, no, I'm going to school. So, anyway, Mrs. Cross came to the farm and asked it, told Marie and Joe said, hey, your daughter, she doesn't want to come home. She, she, she's leaving. You know, she's going to school. So, my brother Joe, don't forget, I'm asking sister and brother, okay? This is a bit confusing, but I will come to that up. <laughs> anyway, they went and picked it up. But another one, and this is the most important one that Bella had, you know, she had a big problem when she went to Edmonton. Uh, she thought, you know, she saw the girls and the boys with glasses, and she said, I want to have glasses. And the only way she could do it was to say, I'm blind. <laughs> And she did it, you know, she came home and she went to my sister and said, Mom, I cannot see. You know, I need glasses. And said, sure you can. Well, my sister went to school and with the teacher, you know, put the, you know, the words on the, the blackboard and on purpose she was misspelling backwards. And in any case, you know, I have to say, Bella, even today she doesn't need glasses and she has done quite well for herself. Annabella, you have been always a special person to me and my family. I know how special you have been to my wife, Sally, and to your cousins Daniel and Richard. I can honestly say that you have been a lot more than family. You have been good, good friends, and I would like to see that for years and years to come. We are a close family, and when I say this, it's uh, But, you know, my sister Maria and Joe, well, it's not that often that you have a sister marrying a brother, and that's the truth. <laughs> I have a sister married to my brother, and you know, Ollie, you know, and you're going to say, what the heck, you know, what kind of family is this? <laughs> you're going to have to ask, you're going to have to ask what happened, but it's true. Not too often, and it's a pleasure, it's been a pleasure to me that I have a sister I, I'll explain a bit. Half sister married to half brother. And this is the truth. I take this opportunity to wish Annabella and Gerald the best in their future life. I hope you'll be as happy as I've been with my lovely wife sitting right there. And her name is Solid. Gerald, you are a lucky man to have such a lovely lady as your wife. I know you'll try your very best to treat Annabelle well and you'll try to be a good husband. I have all the confidence in the world that Annabelle will be a good and loving wife to you. And at this moment, and uh, not trying to discriminate with anybody, I have a lot of good friends here that I haven't seen for a long, long time and not too often coming you know, from Alberta. And I'm talking probably for the Portuguese side. I mean, there's a lot of guys here and when I say guys, you know, you know, ladies also, that see me growing, 
We will play soccer together, and it's a pleasure to see you all here, and I hope you enjoying yourselves. And I thank you not only for being here, and I take these words also for my brother. It's a pleasure to see you all here. And at this moment, I'll, I'd like everybody to charge your glasses, and rise and join me the folks to my loved ones and goddaughter, and wish her the best in the future life. Thank you.
quite thick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys want to put this in the garbage can for me? Away because I need a hug. I'll give it to Joe Ferrer, and if anybody wants, you'll have it. Of course, that's his cousin who got really pissed off when I married and took her cousin away from her. You're over it now, Sharon? Are you sure? 20 years I'm over. I don't think so because you're still telling me about it. I just don't want you ever to forget. <laughs> but she sacrificed. But I sacrificed my happiness for you. <laughs> really? Oh, that's Derek. I don't know who the other one. They're really into the gift opening here. Let's get in a bit closer here. Mike. Mike. <laughs> Fade away. Anna, I'm sitting here speaking to Connie right now. Hi there, Connie. Hi, what am I look at? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Isn't this a great, great wedding? And you know, we do it for us at our 50th so that we can replenish all our old things. Okay, when's your <laughs> okay. 50th going to be? Pretty darn soon. Now. I can update it a little and make it next year. <laughs> okay. Well, we've had our 20th. We have 30 more years to go. No, no, just, just multiply it. Just multiply it. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, like dogs do. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> well, instead of seven, make it an even ten. It's All right. For the oldies yeah. to count. <laughs> the good, that's the metric system. That's what it is. We'll just multiply it by ten. The metric <laughs> please, system. Please don't. <laughs> you don't like this camera shoved in your face? No. You're doing a great job. I don't even have to focus. Okay, wave goodbye to the camera. What? Oh, good. <laughs> Pretty job. Oh, that is nasty. Nasty, eh? Yeah, they filled the whole car full of newspaper. Now they're dumping confetti on them. Rice Krispies. And there's the biggest kid of all, right there, that, that old guy. <laughs> and there's the other little kid over there in the front. And then they did a real dirty thing. 
they put blocks under the wheels. So when they go to drive away, ta-da, not going to go very far. Look at these. Brand new van and they're really trying their best to mess it up. Get some inside. I'm not gonna be. I did not put anything inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's dirty. Pretty, pretty well sabotaged. Yeah. You don't know how many years it'll take to get that stuff out of there. Oh yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> They'll sell you the tape for hundred bucks. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Get, uh, Ellen didn't do anything. some photographic evidence here. <laughs> do you know this fellow that owns this car? Not at all. I just got hired to do this. <laughs> A hitman. Slavic. <laughs> Got a lot of Larry, a lot of heavy mustache hair. This is my Charlie Easier shredded paper, I might add, girl. 